Times. Earlier this year in May, he visited a ghost town located in Veracruz, Mexico. He went with one of his friends who he calls the Elder Warlock of Catemaco. This town, however, is no ordinary town and I'll explain why. Back in the 1900s, an outsider family wanted to build a new settlement in the town of Bajos de Mimiwa in Mexico. One of the current residents was a mother who somehow ended up losing her child. She suspected the outsider family of this for some unknown reason. Out of desperation, the mother apparently went completely crazy, ended her own life as well as the entire outsider families. It's rumoured that she now haunts the town looking for her son and Ricky went to visit to see if he could capture any evidence. Hola, muy buenas noches amigos de YouTube. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Esta noche nos encontramos desde los bajos de Miniagua. Yo no vengo solo, me acompaña mi buen amigo, maestro Jaguar Negro, brujo mayor de Catemaco. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas noches. Estamos aquí presente con el señor Ricky Velázquez. Siempre se sabe. ¿Eh? ¡Joder! Hold <laughs> inside a house which seems fitting for a paranormal channel. However, I doubt that the folks over at Lakeshore Paranormal expected to get spooked so early in their investigation. Take a look. Not gonna leave until you give me a sign. Move me back there. Shadow. Sorry? Shadow like came out from the really? where the heater is and went back the other way. I got it on video. You can see it. Oh. It was short. It was just like a shadow that came out from there. Are you down here? It doesn't take long at all after the man asked the potential spirit in the room to show itself for something weird to happen. In fact, it's just a few seconds later in which you can see a fast blur move across the wall, which could very well be a shadow figure making a brief appearance. This is definitely one of those videos that you might have to watch a few times before you finally notice what is going on. But as soon as you see it, you will definitely get goosebumps and the hair on the back of your neck is sure to stand up. What do you think the shadow was? Was it a shadow figure? Some sort of paranormal entity? Or was it something else entirely? Let me know in the comments. He thinks it's creepy and here's why. He won't stop smiling by himself at night with a flashlight. Not good. Seriously though, I'm trying to give his neighbor the benefit of the doubt, but this is one unsolved mystery that I'm not sure I want the answer to. Here he is prowling around in the middle of the night with the flashlight at nearly 2 in the morning. It's not like he dropped his keys or something because he's doing this a lot, like some kind of routine. He looks under the gutter and then looks into Jeff's yard as if he hears something, and then he looks over the fence briefly. Here he is looking at the same area of the ground on a different night at 2am. A much better look at his face. He's smiling to himself, pleased. But what is there to smile about? It's not a pleasant smile either in my opinion. When he sees the mounted security cam, he's out of there in a hurry. The whole thing looks shady to me, maybe even a guilty conscience. But guilty of what? Here's one of the creepiest late night strolls yet. He abruptly stops, turns towards Jeff's house, and smiles gleefully as if he's seen an old friend. 
Maybe what he's really smiling at is a horrible future in store for Jeff. So let's recap. A neighbor keeps looking at the ground like he's buried something there, and he keeps looking over like he wants to bury something again. I'm not saying that's definitely the case, but if I saw something like this, I would definitely think he has plans for me. I'm curious as to whether or not you agree, and if so, after seeing these videos, would you have the courage to confront him if he was your neighbor? Number 9. Jamika German records this imposing figure standing outside at 3am. He rings her bell and then stiffly walks out of sight, so that if she were to look out the peephole it would look like no one was there. My first thought is that he's hiding and also watching out for any cars passing by as they could be potential witnesses to what he's about to do. Suddenly he gets closer and keeps his back turned, so I guess he's not worried about being seen after all. I don't know what I'd do if I saw a tall person breathing heavily with their hands clenched like this. Probably find something sharp to defend myself with and then call police. He looks tense like he's psyching himself up to break in and do something horrible. Thankfully he thinks better of it and Jimmy. Imagine you're relaxing in your hotel room trying to wind down for the night when you have an unseen and definitely unexpected visitor. It seems like that is exactly what happened to reddit user 6660 evil who shared the following video on my Sir Spook subreddit. Let's take a look and see what the upload has been experiencing. What at first seemed like somebody on the other end of the door pulling on the handle vigorously is quickly proven to not be the case as the uploader starts to panic but finds it in himself to finally open the door only to find the bathroom completely empty with nobody or nothing inside of it. The video ends just after this but it is an amazing and highly creepy video that will leave you asking many questions. What could have possibly been causing the door handle to shake like that? Was it a ghost? Was it a friend of his hiding out of view? Or was it a clever... I'm exploring the paranormal. The following video highlights their most interesting finds caught on camera from various different creepy locations such as the Adams Family House and the Kreiner Farmhouse. You gotta be careful. Do you like us being here? Do you like us being here? Can I still get a beer? Lights dead already. Hey! Hey! This is just so we can communicate. 
A woman comes banging on the door and doesn't wait for an answer before trying to claw her way inside however she can. Judging by how she frantically pulls on the door, it looks like she might have escaped an attacker and is now desperate to get away from someone who is still chasing her. But she is too disoriented and confused to make any sense of her surroundings or explain herself. She doesn't seem to fully understand what she's doing, even as she is trying to enter. And when told to get away by the scared person hiding inside, it doesn't seem to register that she doesn't belong here. What are you doing? Is this the result of a substance or shock from a traumatic situation? Why? When the cops come, she somehow drops her mania and seems totally calm, much different than before, yet still just as confused. She thinks that she knows the woman inside, but they have never met before. Do you live here? No, I don't. So why are you banging on the door? Because my friend was there. Based on her behavior, I think she was in the middle of a delusion, or might have done something even more drastic if she had managed to get inside. The mysterious case is still under investigation, but I'd like to hear your theories while this gets sorted out.